G'day and welcome to Boss World. This video will show you the basics of manual metal arc welding, commonly known as MMA or stick welding. Arc welding processes have been a popular and widely applied method of welding for many years. They offer a sound and reliable weld, simple operation and low capital cost. Manual metal arc welding is a welding process where the electric arc burns between a coated electrode and the workpiece. The electrode is fixed in an electrode holder, a short circuit is produced and the arc starts when lifting the electrode or striking. During the welding process, the electrode and its coating melt and the slag develops above the weld seam. Once you've selected an arc welder and a clean and safe work area cleared, the most important thing to consider is safety equipment. Let's run through the safety equipment that you'll need before you start welding. The first thing you will need is an automatic welding helmet. A welding helmet is used to protect the welder's head, face, neck and eyes from flash burn, UV light, sparks, IR light and heat. Never look at a welding arc with the naked eye. The eye's retina is easily damaged. Looking at a welding arc can cause anything from slight discomfort to permanent vision loss. Always ensure you weld in a well ventilated area and wear respiratory protective equipment. Disposable face masks can be used for short run jobs. It is recommended you use a PAPR, powered air purifying respirator helmet for extended periods of welding. Next you will need some gloves. High quality gloves that offer both heat and flame resistance while maintaining dexterity are a must for any welder. You are also going to need a welding jacket, shirt, long pants or an apron, making sure you cover all exposed skin. Many welders opt to use welding specific attire that are flame retardant which protect against welding spatter and reduce heat absorption while maintaining comfort. And lastly, it is always a good idea to consider others around you and set up welding screens where you can to protect them from welding arc rays and welding sparks. This short video will show you the setup of an S180 arc welder. First, plug the 15 amp input power lead into the wall socket, ensuring that the power switch on the machine is in the off position. Connect the earth clamp to the negative terminal and clamp it up firmly onto the workpiece, ensuring the clamp makes good contact with bare metal. Then connect the electrode holder into the positive terminal. Take the electrode holder and press the handle to open the tong. Insert the bare metal rod end of the electrode and release the handle to clamp the electrode in. Ensure the electrode and the electrode holder is nowhere near the workpiece or it can earth out before you turn on the machine. Once the machine is turned on, the front display will light up and the cooling fan will start. Select your required current by turning the welding parameter adjustment knob on the front of the machine and you are now ready to weld. The arc is initiated by momentarily touching the electrode to the base metal. The heat of the arc melts the surface of the base metal to form a molten pool at the end of the electrode. The melted electrode metal is transferred across the arc into the molten pool and becomes the deposited weld metal. The deposit is covered and protected by a slag which comes from the electrode coating. The arc and the immediate area are enveloped by an atmosphere of protective gas. Arc welding is ideal for applications such as construction, mechanical, farm, lawn and gardening equipment. Thank you for your time and we hope you enjoy arc welding. <laughs>